Hello everybody and welcome to Nana Nookers. I am Christy Parody, the artist behind Nana Nookers and today I want to talk to you a little bit about neutralizing camera. So um, I've got out my needed supplies. I have a kit that needs to be neutralized and um, I was getting ready to start her and I thought let me show everybody how this is done. So uh, here I have our raven. Um, I can't see my my camera, so I was making sure I was there. This is Raven by Ping Lu. And as you can see, Raven is a little orangey, reddish orange color. And we want to neutralize her skin tones out to be more of a fleshy tone color like we have here with this baby. So, the first thing I need to do, and I'll grab a limb. This is easier for me to do a limb. Is I'll grab her limb and I'll look this over really good and here is how we use our color wheel so I know that she's red orange so I want to go in and determine exactly where we're at on this red orange and we're going to be right here that's pretty darn close to that first one right there so in order to neutralize this so she's this color. In order to neutralize that color, we go all the way opposite the wheel to this first color. So this color will neutralize this. So now we need to mix a color that's similar to this. So what I have is I have some, first thing I'm going to do, I have some odorless thinner. I have some blue 05. And I just got this today. I've not worked with this one, so we'll see. And I have some mint green. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit thinner in my in my bow. I'm not wanting to mix a lot of this. I'm just wanting to mix enough for her. And I am going to do a brush load of green. Brush load of green. and a brush load of our blue and then we'll go from there to see what color we end up with actually it's a really pretty blue right now it's not quite what we need it's a little too blue so I know I have plenty of blue in there I'm going to go in with a tad more green. Maybe do another brush load of green. And if this is not green enough, then I will try to add just a little bit of another green. And mixing color, guys, is, is trial and error. It really is. Um, I want to add a little bit of this green here just to give it a little more of a green hue. I'm still seeing a lot. There we go. That's looking good. Still seeing a whole lot of blue. So don't be afraid to play with your paints. There we go. Oh, that's looking really good. So as you see, we're getting fairly close. Now this looks a lot darker. And it will until I add a little bit more thinner in here. We're getting pretty darn close. The color I'm wanting to watch is the color that's running on that bowl. And I will have lots of this left, so I will put it in another container and mark it so I know what I have. So we can use it on future projects. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks wonderful right there. So what I will do is I will use this to neutralize this kit and I will go ahead and do one limb for you so you can see what I'm doing. You will need a flat brush. This one's actually a little bit larger than I prefer and you will need a cosmetic wedge with the end torn off. Um, this one's a lower density so this is the one I'm going to use. 
and always stir your paint. Stir, 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 stir. I will start with her feet, or in this case, her foot. And we will brush this blue right on to this kit, like so. Neutralizing can be kind of scary sometimes. But what it's really going to do is neutralize out this this orangey, reddish orange color that I do not want. So I'm going in with a nice neutralized base. She is German vinyl, and German vinyl tends to be a lot more orangey at times in color. I'm taking a mop brush and just getting into these any excess out of these little creases. But um, German vinyl does tend to be more orange in color and nature. Um, I love working with German vinyl as far as the texture of the vinyl, but I really hate the color of it. Really do. And sometimes you may need to do, I'm going to do one coat of this, and I'm going to cure this in my curing cradle or my new wave oven for 11 minutes at 250 degrees. If I feel like she needs another layer, I will definitely do another layer till I get where I need to be with her. I did use a blue when I prepped her kit. I used a little bit of blue in my prep to try to neutralize some of the orange, but it just totally did not do what I needed it to do, so. Ooh, that's a lots of blue. <laughs> lots of blue green there. When you dab this in, I get this one done. We'll compare it to an un a limb that's not. Of course, it's shiny. The shiny comes from the uh, odorless thinner, and when that odorless thinner, what we call flashes or dries off, then you're just left with the color blotting it, pouncing it in, just helps to distribute all the color evenly so when the odorless thinner does dissipate that you're left with a nice even beautiful thin layer coat of paint. And all reborning is done in many 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 thin thin layers of paint. Let's see, this is looking pretty good. You want to make sure when you do this, um, you look over your kit very well. Your piece, there's a hair, don't want that. You want to look over your, your kit very well. Make sure that everything is pounced very well. And that you look at all your creases. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but there is like an increase of blue right in here. You don't want that standing. So we daub that out in our creases so we don't have that standing later. And as you see, I got blue on my brush. And this is what the limb would look like. And you don't touch it yet. This is called the flange. And you want to hold it by the flange and just look it over really well. I see an excess of blue right there. So I'm just going to pounce that a little bit. I want to compare it to her other limb. Let's see. Look at the difference, guys. You can really, 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 really see the difference in colors on here and how it toned down that red orange really nicely. Actually, I really enjoyed this. I need to pounce right here. If you see right in here, so an excess of blue. Sometimes it's hard. You gotta get your fingers down in there, or you can stick a brush down in a brush handle down in there too get more stability but 
And what I will do is I'll let this flash. I'll do the whole kit like this and I will let it flash. And then once it flashes, I will look it over really, really good just to make sure I don't have any excess of paint because blue paint tends to stain um, harshly. So if it's left on there, you might you won't get it off. <laughs> so you want to make sure everything is blended in really well and this actually looks like some little veins it's not it's stained in paint so that is how it's done i hope you enjoyed this lesson make sure you guys check me out on facebook check me out on patreons i do uh teach some reborning techniques on patreon so five dollars a month you can learn to reborn and we have a five private facebook group for our patreons to communicate this little cutie is the one i'm working on right now she is adorable this is sophia grace i'm hoping i have her in the camera this is sophia grace and she's actually one of the, she doesn't have much longer to go so she's about done but our patreon baby that we're working on right now is corbin and corbin is a doll baby yes he is so He's who we're working on now, and I have a whole big box of babies sitting over here. I just got an order in from McPherson, so we have a whole box of babies <laughs> to work on uh, for Patreons. All right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Everybody have a great day. Please stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay away from the coronavirus, and just be safe. Bye.